Well, welcome to the big board. We're playing uh, the Rise of Macedon campaign, and the first battle is the Battle of Aragon, Aragon Valley, I think it is. And the uh, let's see, Macedonians opened up by moving their auxiliaries out, and the Illyrians did the same. They moved their cavalry and auxiliaries on uh, on either on either flank. Uh, the Macedonians on this side had this refused, uh, staggered uh, flank of light infantry, and they moved up basically in formation and pushed back the skirmishers that were on that uh, left wing of Philip's. And Grabos, the Illyri one of the Illyrian leaders, he moved forward to attack and didn't have particularly good results, uh, did put three hits on one of the Actually, five ended up being five hits, all told. After javelin attacks uh, on the um, on one of the light infantry units, so that was kind of a, a shock to the system on that side. Otherwise, the attacks were fairly average. We really didn't do terribly much damage at all. Um, the response to that was that uh, Parmenion then pushed his forces uh, forward pretty aggressively and uh, caused a uh, one unit to rout immediately, and then forced two others to retreat. Uh, so that, yeah, that was okay. We we're pretty good there. What you can see now, and there was some, you know, a few other things happened. Uh, Philip got fairly active over here with his uh, his forces and uh, his cavalry, but not as uh, successful as I would have thought he would have been. So we actually went ahead and then uh, rolled for momentum and let him have another another shot at it. And his heavy infantry and heavy cavalry really went to town and uh, ended up taking out uh, three medium infantry units and uh, demolishing them in short order. So that brought the total route points of uh, the 40 available for loss uh, prior to routing from the field up to 23. At the beginning of the next turn, Philip uh, trumped uh, his own unit, attacked uh, the Cletus's forces again, and eliminated another unit. So that's putting him in a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good position. So these Hippocysts here uh, you know, are doing a pretty good job. Now, his cavalry's taken a couple of hits, or just one. <laughs> And we now have the awful situation where, after a few uh, movements by various other units, it's now back to Parminian's turn. He is elected to be aggressive in advance, and because of the way things were, this guy was here. Uh, was he here? No, I think he was here. He went one, two, three. Got on the flank there, and I'm thinking, that's going to be great. That's going to be a great attack, right? That'll just show those guys. And we'll wrap this thing up. That'll be uh, close to getting this game done, especially if we can kill these guys. So those three forces moved up. I've put myself at risk by exposing my rear, but we've attempted to cover it a little bit. And I've got a, uh, a nice two to one, uh, two phalanxes versus one phalanx opportunity here. Uh, I know I got a few hits, but you know, it should be okay, right? Well, not if for these four combats, you roll a 1, a 0, a 1, and a 2. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be a little uh, nasty little surprise, I think, for Philip, and it may uh, work to his disadvantage pretty badly. We'll see what happens. Uh, I wanted to just post a little update on the Rise of Macedon. I know it's been a while in coming uh, for this series of battles, but I'm excited about it. Uh, Philip can't afford to lose a lot of forces here. He has to maintain his strength for the next battle that he will fight against the Illyrians.